I am a vegetarian. No, I do not eat fish or chicken, and yes, I do eat eggs. No, I do not miss meat, and no, I was not raised by hippies. According to U.S. News & World Report, campuses across the country are incorporating more and more vegetarian options into their dining halls to satisfy the growing number of herbivores on their campuses. Wake Forest University is one of those schools, allegedly. At my small, conservative southern school, I am still clearly outnumbered by meat eaters. Research has shown that many adolescents transition to vegetarianism in college because of the increased amounts of freedom and the increased desire to be an individual. The exact motivations for their decision to stop eating meat are more diverse. There are health vegetarians, who according to researchers are focused on health as a whole and the connection between the meat-free diet and a healthier self. The other mainly studied group are ethical vegetarians, who cut meat out of their diet because of both animal rights and environmental concerns. There is a huge lack of research, however, when it comes to people with multiple motivations of not eating meat, like myself. I know many vegetarians that did not make the decision to transition with only one benefit in mind, but a large mixture of both health and ethical concerns along with others. I personally stopped eating meat to improve my health and because of my stance on animal rights. Being a vegetarian at Wake Forest has given me a unique perspective on vegetarianism that most researchers overlook while studying college students. When most people walk into our dining hall, aka the pit, they are often let down by the food available. When I walk into the pit, I worry about actually being able to find something that I can eat. The largest problem with the dining halls are their lack of ingredient lists or labels on the food, which makes eating a vegetarian diet more difficult. At other schools, according to US News, vegetarian options are easier to find and more appetizing. The new initiatives to include vegetarians in the pit include, and are limited to, the vegetarian and vegan station. This is composed of one dish every day and is never very appetizing. The number of non-vegetarian options are much more diverse and edible, making eating much easier for those without dietary limitations. Unlike most research has shown, the vast majority of vegetarians are not crazy radicals or aggressive people at all. When I meet other vegetarians, they are not rude or patronizing. They are just normal college students who create a network of support for those interested in eating humanely. The lack of food options available to vegetarians in college brings non-meat eaters together. When interviewing fellow college vegetarian Jenny Mai, I discovered that her and her vegetarian friends often exchange tips about what food is safe to eat, which makes eating on campus easier for all of them and creates a closer connection between them. One study showed that vegetarianism often brings people closer together because of the support that can be found within the group. This perspective is often forgotten because of the stereotypes. However, the vast majority of vegetarians that I have met at Wake are supportive towards others. Even though researchers say the amount of vegetarians on college campuses is continuing to increase, I often find myself in a situation where I am the only non-meat eater. All of my friends eat meat regularly and do not experience the difficulties of eating at Wake Forest that I do. I usually find that I am the only person restricted to eating nothing but salad for dinner. Sociologists have found that when there is an in-group and out-group, the people of the out-group will often create stereotypes of those in the in-group. Though some research has shown that most perceptions of vegetarians on campus are positive, I have experienced a lot of the following stereotypes at Wake. The one where vegetarianism is so difficult that vegetarians have to cheat on their lifestyle when no one is looking. That belief that vegetarians only eat salads or grass and absolutely nothing else. And my favorite, the one where all vegetarians are those judgmental people with the flyers on the quad or the people screaming out that meat is murder at a protest. The wide range of motivations to transition to vegetarianism has led to a hierarchy within the community of non-meat eaters. The stereotypes that are given to vegetarians by outgroup members are also seen between members of the in-group itself. These stereotypes are the underlying cause of the lack of unity that researchers have seen amongst vegetarians. Studies have shown that when people are less like you, you are less likely to agree with them and accept them. This dynamic created the hierarchy seen in the non-meat eating group. At the bottom of the pyramid, according to researchers, is the health vegetarian. They are often seen as lesser because of their lack of attachment to the animal rights cause. Ethical vegetarians are predominantly viewed as more dedicated than health vegetarians because of their connection to activism. However, they are often looked down upon by vegans who believe that by eating animal products, vegetarians are being hypocritical. Vegans are considered to be the most dedicated and respected ethical eaters, and are often viewed as extremists. The number of vegetarians in college is growing. 
According to the New York Times, nearly 12% of millennials are vegetarians. That's one in eight. As the number of vegetarians eating in dining halls across the country increases, the number of options for them must also increase.